In today's video, we will be taking a closer look at a component which has been around for over a half a century, the SCR, or Silicon Controlled Rectifier. This particular component is one that is not used too frequently in circuits, shown on this channel, even though it is a very useful component. SCRs are available in many different packages and current ratings. The one you see here is a 12 amp TO220. I have a few others as well in a TO92 package. SCRs are unidirectional devices, which means that current is only able to flow in one direction, unlike a triac, which is a bi-directional device, allowing current to flow in two directions. SCRs are designed to handle very high currents for DC applications, as well as AC applications. For use with AC applications, you would require two SCRs anti-parallel to be able to control the full AC cycle, positive and negative. Using only one SCR would result in control of only half the AC cycle. SCRs are just like diodes, but they handle much more current and need to be turned on, unlike a typical diode. What I'm going to do first is show you a little diagram of how the SCR is designed. Inside an SCR, just like a diode, is N and P-type semiconductor material. N means negative, that is the cathode, and P-type is positive, which is the anode. Usually there are four layers. So closest to the anode, you would have a P-type layer, then you would have an N-type layer, and next to that would be a P-type layer, and then another N-type layer next to the cathode. Now the gate, in this case, which is the third pin on the right, in order to turn on the SCR, the gate is connected to the P-type material located next to the cathode. Once a positive voltage is applied to that P-type material, the SCR will then turn on. With SCRs, just like diodes, there is a forward voltage drop, and it's a little higher with an SCR than it is for a single diode because you're going through more layers. Now I'm going to show you a little demonstration. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my meter. Let me set this to the diode function. All right. Right here we have a typical diode. This is a UF4007. This is an ultra-fast diode. Let me connect it up. You can see the forward voltage is around a half of a volt. That reading will vary between 0.45 and 0.66. Depending on the particular SCR that you are using, you're going to have to refer to the data sheets to discover what the pinout is on the SCR. This one here, the pinout is cathode, which is negative, the middle pin is anode, which is positive, and the far right is the gate. Some of them may be K for cathode, the middle might be the gate, and the end could be the anode, or it could start off as anode, gate, cathode, so be sure to check. Now what I'm going to show you when I go to test this as well, when I give you this little demo, it's also a test, so if you're having issues with an SCR, you can refer to this test procedure to verify if the SCR is working properly or not. When you check using the diode function, you're going to see the first one is the cathode, the middle is the anode. When I do this, nothing happens to the meter. The reason being is because the SCR is not turned on. What I'm going to do is turn on the SCR by applying a voltage to the gate, and then you're going to see it's going to act just like a typical diode. could use a 9-volt battery for this. That's positive. Negative. Let's connect the cathode, which in my case is the first pin. I'm going to take the negative of the meter and connect that to the negative of the battery as well. All right. Now I'm going to leave that connected to the center. Now what you're going to see as soon as I apply a gate voltage, 
you're going to see it's going to act just like a regular diode between the anode and the cathode. And the forward voltage is around 0.71. That's how it turns on. So let me give you a little demonstration. Positive from the battery goes to the load, from the load into the anode, and then the cathode goes to the battery negative. Now in order to trigger this, I'm going to take my resistor. I could take it from either side of the lamp, it doesn't make a difference. So what I'll do is I'll just take it from the battery positive. Okay. Now as soon as I apply the gate voltage, you'll see the load come on. All right. So right there, you can see the lamp is running. Now the good thing about silicon control rectifiers, SCRs, is that once the gate is triggered, the SCR will remain latched. It will not turn off unless you disconnect the load first and then reconnect it. Once it's reconnected, it's reset. You could then touch the gate again, turn it back on. That's how these work. So these could be very useful in certain circuits where you would like to have it latch on. Now I have a video using a super sensitive SCR. It's triggered using microamps. And what I did is I connected up an ultra bright white LED and I placed it into the sunlight and that is what triggered the SCR to turn on. It's a very interesting video. You can check it out in the link right over here. A new window will open. You can pause the video and watch it after you're finished watching this video. You reverse everything positive to the cathode and then you take the negative over to the anode All right. you try touching the gate and you can see it's not going to work I could even take this and move it to the negative on the battery and you can see it will not trigger it's a very useful component and you also know how to test these now in the event you suspect a failure of an SCR. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.